Welcome, my phone is a Xiaomi Mi 10 Pro and today I'll show you how you can bypass the Google verification on this phone. So, as you can see, uh, the device is locked. I, we have the little lock icon right at the top. We have the draw your pattern to verify and we can also use a Google account to verify it instead. So, obviously, our phone is undeniably locked. So, to get started, we're gonna back out to the Wi-Fi connection page right over here. Uh, obviously, you want to be connected to Wi-Fi. I already am, as you can see, right up here. So once you connect to it, if it goes to the next page, once you do so, you want to back out back to this page. Then you want to scroll down and select Add Network. In the SSID, you're going to type in youtube.com. There we go. Give me a moment, I'm going to put something under the phone so it doesn't bump around. There we go. So uh, there we go, we have YouTube, I forgot to put a dot there, there we go. So youtube.com, once you have written it here, you wanna hold the text, it will get selected, and once you let go, it brings up this option right here, tap on the chain link right here. And this, as you can see, opens up YouTube. So from here, we're gonna select account. Account, there we go. And in here, we're gonna navigate to help and feedback and then describe your issue you want to type in delete or disable apps on android now you don't actually have to type in this entire thing i believe once we type in delete or or i think it comes up as a suggested so let's see yep there we go it's a second uh, suggestion delete or disable apps on android click on it then you want to select right here tap to go to application settings and once you do so we're gonna now select more and we're gonna choose show system and once you have your system applications visible you want to start off with android setup i'm gonna click on it i'm gonna select disable disable app for stop and okay once you have disabled this we're gonna now go back once I'm gonna see if there's any other yep there we go there's another setup right here android setup again so click on it this time around, we only need to select for a stop. Okay, and again, go back. And from here, we're now gonna scroll down to Google Play Services. Google Play Services, so there we go. Click on it, and once again, we're gonna select disable, disable app for stop, and okay. And we're gonna, again, go back. And this time around, we're looking for settings, which should be somewhere like right at the bottom. There we go, settings. Now, uh, same as with uh, with the Android setup, we have two different settings. So we can see there is one right up here and then one here. Uh, I believe this is the correct one, the first one. Yep, so you wanna select this one. Uh, the difference between them, if you select the wrong one, as you can see, it has the disable or first stop options, but the correct one has also open option. So that's what you're looking for. So once you find it, obviously you want to select open because that's the reason why we are looking for this. And we're gonna now select additional settings right here. Then we're gonna select accessibility and then accessibility menu, toggle it on, allow, and okay, as you can see, it adds this little guy at the bottom. So that's what we're looking for. So there we go. So once we have added this, we will simply now go back to the setup. So there we go. And in here, looks like, let's see. I just select next. And this is where a tricky part starts for the bypass so right now the device will be looking for updates on google server but obviously we disabled google play services so it has no way of accessing it so what we're gonna do is press this little guy right here i'm gonna go to google assistant this will bring up settings but as you can see it stays only for just a short moment now this moment does vary how long it will stay. It's completely random. There is actually like no 
rule to it. Once it might stay for 10 seconds, another it might stay for a split second, or it just might not show up at all. So what you will want to do is select that settings, then it will open up your Google Play services page, uh, the same uh, looking page as we did for disable and for stop option for Google Play services. And you want to select uh, enable, which I believe will be somewhere like right here or here. Just, let's see. So it's right here. And for me, uh, luckily, it only took me two tries, as you've seen, or three. And uh, this probably will not be how many times it will take you. Uh, like I said, it's completely random. This page usually would close after like a second or so. So you want to be very quick about pressing the guy, uh, the assistant, and then settings. You want to then click on enable. Now for me, it stayed open for some a miracle. So there we go. So when I select enable, once once it's enabled, this page should stay open as it, as it is open for me. So from here, you're gonna go back once. And as you can see, it just kind of skips the verification page. So we can now finish up the setup. So let's do so. At this moment, it doesn't really matter what you set up. So simply just skip through everything that you can. Now, once you have access to your home screen, uh, we're gonna navigate to settings, and I believe it's an additional settings. Let's see. So, there we go, we're gonna now navigate to settings because the bypass is still not finished. And actually, in here, we're gonna select about phone, scroll down to factory reset, erase all data, factory reset. This gives us a 10 second timer right here and on the next page as well. There we go. So once this timer uh, runs out, you can click on OK. This will perform a factory reset of your device, as the name would imply. And it will bring you back to the setup of the device, the setup screen for Android, which is completely fine. Now, the reason you want to do this is because the device is still locked. Once you click on OK, it, like I mentioned, performs a factory reset, but by doing so, it removes uh, basically all the data uh, that was previously blocking us. So the Google account and pattern will be completely removed while performing a factory reset of the device through specifically settings. So that's why you want to go through it. Now, I'm not gonna go through it on the video just because, to be honest, it provides you with no additional information. Once you press that button, it is all autopilot. And once that's finished, you're in a setup screen, so you can set up your device however you like. At that point, you won't need to do any kind of bypassing. The device will be fully unlocked and you can go through the setup however you wish. So that being said, if you found this video helpful, don't forget to hit like, subscribe, and thanks for watching.